Harvey Evan golfers, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Charlotte. You guys have been crazy. All you Charlotte golfers have been recommending tons of golf courses, and I freaking love that as a new Charlotte resident. And we're taking one of your guys' suggestions, and we're playing The Divide today down in the Matthews area, southeast side of Charlotte. Driving in, the community looks gorgeous. I expect the golf course will be the same. The driving range also is like a top tracer driving range, so it's like top golf, but without the time limit and without the super expensive prices. Uh, we're gonna jump right on in. The back tee box says the golds are playing right around 7,000 yards, but I'm not seeing any gold tee markers out there. So first hole up is a par four, pretty much dead straight away. There is a creek that could come into play though, right around 310 yards. I don't know how these fairways are gonna run. So we're gonna take it safe, take three wood. Let's go, let's have a good day. All right, we like that. All right, nice little three wood to start. Driver probably would have been a little bit too much. We got 94 yards, going with the old 58. Let's see if we can get something up for birdie. Front pin, looks like it wants to roll back to us. So let's go. Might be a go a little bit. Ah, don't go in that bunker. Shoot. Got a little cute with that. Full 58 on the range. They've got these cool little uh, top tracer bays here, kind of like top golf wood. And uh, my full 58 was going like 110. Now, granted, I feel like there's a little bit of embellishment there. Maybe I should have hit a 110 shot, but wanted to take a little off of it, and that's what happens. Up and down, let's go. Didn't really get the flight I was hoping for, but we'll take that. Thank you. That feels good to get it up and down to start. All right, super solid up and down off the green from the bunker, love that. Par five, weird landing space, only about 240 yards away, then it gets super, super narrow and tight. So we're just gonna play to the first landing space. We got seven wood, let's hit him straight. Come on, let's go. That will work. I don't think it's the 150, it's probably like the 250 or something, I don't know. I don't know what that marker is. We love fairways. Seven wood was good. We got seven wood again. Can't quite pick up the flag with my radar, but I think we're playing about a 245 number here to get to the front, so. Seven wood. Turn, 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 turn. Nikes. Maybe, we'll see. Wow, it just stayed out there. All right, so it's pretty thick back here. There's no immediate stakes, but the closest one to me is red, so we're playing that as hazard taking it on the line that we would have peeled in on. 110 yards. We're gonna take 58 again with the helping wind. Let's see, still par five, so we can still make par. That had a lot of spin. Well, we'll see what we got when we get up there. It's gonna be a little right though. or it's just gonna be dead straight. Light speed. Okay. That's a tough double, but seven wood just did not come back. Feels bad. Help me win part three. It's about 190, I think, to the pin. Again, my rangefinder is just not really quite picking up the flag. It's picking up, I think, more of the backdrop. So we're playing a safer number here with the helping wind. But seven iron, hoping for about a 175, 180 shot. And then everything else, hopefully just roll or carry or do something to get close. Come on, let's go, let's have some fun. It well, yeah, a little short. Should have trusted the number I got in the gun, but oh well, up and down. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, two up and downs today. Hundred percent up and down conversion. Give that last hole. For those that have been watching for a while, you know my up and down game is not, not that great. So getting one out of the sand and that one right there from long range, take those. Two over through three, let's go. 
All right, so I'm not really sure what's the deal out here because their first three holes, we did not see any gold tee markers and there wasn't a tee option or a box option behind where the blues were, but this hole does have one. So we're gonna play from it. Uh, we've got like 414 yards here, a little small bend to the right. Bunkers that I would have to imagine are more there to keep you out of the woods than they are to punish you. So there is a little bit of an air right that would I think be okay. Otherwise, if we're up the left side, we'll have a really good angle at this green. So right towards the 150, driver, let's go. First time driver today. Power fade right towards the bunky. I think we're right in the middle of it. Ah. I got the right fade I wanted. It just got a little hung up in the old tree. Good putt again, speed wise. Okay, par five. Little dog bike to the left. It's kind of a blind opening shot, somewhat. You can see the top of the mound, that's where we're headed. Uh, gonna play for this little fade still. Driver, we got also a little hurting wind right into, so that's good context all we need here. Let's get it. Should be real good. All right, we're gonna execute in a little bit of course management here. There is a bunker guarding the front side of the screen. The pin is up there, real close to the front side of the green. Pin's about 210, and I don't like four iron getting over that bunker and also holding the green. So we're gonna take five iron out to the right, give ourselves an up and down for birdie. Now it's a little more right than I wanted, but it's the right idea. That's all right, just kind of left it to the left. Gotta hit the ball. Gotta hit the ball. Gotta hit the ball. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, obviously we're kind of kicking ourselves because we knew we could hit that putt, just didn't quite give it the gusto it needed. What is that accent? I don't know. We got part four, dead straight away. Fairway slants right to left. Um, there's bunkers that are kind of on the outsides, pretty far on the outsides of this fairway. So we got green light, especially hit driver here for like a, it's like a high 300s par four. So hopefully we can find a way to get, at least get par here and keep it going. And we're playing really solid so far. Hope you guys are enjoying the content if you're new in the Charlotte area. Good to see you guys. Let's go, let's have some fun. Oh, it's a great ball. We're probably gonna be blocked out by those trees over there on the left. Just didn't get the fade this time. All right, so ball actually kind of kicked down this slope and nestled in some bushes back here. So we had to take an unplayable. And now we're hitting three, which kind of sucks, but got a little double crossed. We got about 120 yards. Gonna hit a nice easy 54 here. Oh, it's so bad. That is short, just kind of rolled up the face on me. All right, tough putt here. Just gotta get this close. Hopefully get out of here with a bogey. Wow, that's a really nice putt. You know what they say, your worst chips can be way worse than your worst putt. Pretty good. Come on, let's make this for bogey. Get out of here. Ah, a little tough double but such is life. We're still playing pretty well. Just a couple things getting a little offline. Seven wood and a driver. That's really all it's been. We got uh, about a 170 shot here, front pin to a par three, so we're picking seven iron. It's about a 160 number, but I want to play a little bit behind it, so. Hitting about a 175 shot here. Maybe easing up just a touch. Let's go. That's pretty good. A little left. Yep. Come up! Come up! Hey! Huge <laughs> to the, the channel. A 
All right, gets us back to four over, love that. Long par four here, about 450, I think it's the number one handicap hole. And also the fairway wants to go left to right when you get up there, so. Got driver from the back box. That's hit her good, no double crossers. Stay, stay. Yeah, keep holding. All right, saw it down. It's gonna be flirted with that right side though. All right, it looks like we ended up going in the trash again, so we're taking another drop, hitting three. That sucks. Dropping on the line that we think we crossed, about 180, I think. I'm gonna go over these trees, hopefully put something on the green, who knows. I like the line. Is it left? Yeah. All right. We don't like taking this many penalties. I think we're at three already through six, now on seven holes. Don't love that, but... Again, one was just a driver that kicked hard left. We still hit the ball pretty darn well, so it didn't get the fave we wanted. Hit the seven went real nice. Just didn't quite get the draw we were expecting. And that one was just a little bit of course knowledge and just that was actually the first real bad swing that we had. Uh, we still have a long putt here. We did get on the green, which is nice. We gotta try to find a way to get this in for par, otherwise we've got a five, which isn't the end of the world. So, let's go. Document. Oh, wow, I like that. I like that. Okay, good two putt. Yeah, five over through eight, considering we had two doubles and three penalties, really is not bad at all. <laughs> See to figure out the old driver and we'll be good to go. Hole number nine is a low 400s par four. Really, really pretty hole. Uh, we got driver out, just gotta try to get something to go straight here. I don't care if it goes a little left or a little right. Just wanna see the fairway. <laughs> here we are. towards the left bunker, stayed just right of it. Sorry to scare you guys with the tee. We'll then get there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, I think it ended up being the right number, just caught a little thin. Well, didn't quite push it out there, not. Okay. Okay, so like you said, five over on the front. Nice little up and downer right there. We got a tight tee shot. It's actually a really cool tee shot through these trees from this back box. Low 400s, par four. It's a really tight landing space though on top of the fact that there's a tight window here. So we got driver. The better miss is left than right by the look of it. So Let's see if we can make that happen. Right down the old center with a huge bounce. Oh no. Just slid the club right underneath it, trying to saw off that 54. Ah, maybe we should just hit a hard 58. It's all right, still got that for par, come on. Take that as a W. Kind of. Small W. Lowercase W. All right, some decisions here. It's a pretty short par four dog leg right. There is a cut though um, to get to the green that's set to the right a little bit. Plus, I think there's water you kind of have to carry. Um, so I think something like a seven wood would give us like a 130 number in. A three wood would give us something closer to 100. I think we're gonna go with just the safe seven wood though. Just gonna have never played here before. We could probably get away with three wood, but the fatter part of the landing space in the fairway is definitely seven wood. So we're gonna go with that. If we have a little bit longer in, we have a little bit longer in. No big deal. Shouldn't have been so worried about that one. Plenty of space. God, where is, <laughs> I'm just like getting so underneath the ball, just sliding the club. That's so strange. Just gotta get that club face a little closed. Oh God, even that slid underneath. Eh. Oh, I was so close to hearing this. Come on, let's see. 
Yeah, putter's gotten us a couple of some good ones. All right, it's a big par save we got now a par five. The box is up. Again, they're doing a lot of sodding on a lot of these tee boxes right now, which is actually really awesome to see because the conditions for it are gonna be great come around fall time, stuff like that. So uh, driver right over the top of this bunker. We should be able to carry it, no problem. And then we should have a pretty easy look in. It's only about 515 yards. So it's definitely gettable in two. Come on. It. I wanted to get down to the ball. We did that. <laughs> I like it. Sit. Shoot. I don't like it as much anymore. <laughs> hmm. A lot more right to left than I thought. Oh, that one snaps. It's coming back too. That's disgusting. 165 out, par five, bogey. Ew. Ew. We got 175 yards or so here on our par three hole 13. Good take seven. We got a little helping wind. It's a front pit, so for a little long, that is fine. Let's hit a good one here, huh? Let's see if we can get another birdie in the card. dog like left. You know, we get a little draw here, driver. Driver's a little greedy, but we're gonna try to cut this corner just a touch, give ourselves about 100 yards in. Let's go, let's see if we can get a birdie here somewhere. Oh, stay. Which way, hard right? It's just fading a little right. There should be space, there should be oh, that yeah, bunker. There's space. Yeah, there's over there. Just kept the hands open. All right, we got a shot here. It's just in this little shrubbery. We're gonna have to punch something out. We just got a five iron. Not gonna be able to see the ball, but at least we see part of the swing. Okay, got out. Oh my gosh, did it again, Andy. Yeah. All right, need to go to the range and figure out what's going on with my wedges. <laughs> Everything's just getting underneath and just pushing right. I haven't had that happen in a long time. Look at that. Nice shot, Alan. Thank you. Oh. That's bogey. Okay, good up and down, and we stayed out of, out of trouble, which is always great. Driver's back out, 400 yard-ish, par four. Hopefully dead straight away. Gotta figure out this little slicey fade we got going on here. Be nice to hit a draw. Let's find out. It's over towards that right bunker. Okay. I didn't see it down, but I had the line. All right, penalties are really starting to hurt us here. That one went right, I think, and just maybe slipped into the trees. So we're taking another drop, kind of on the line we think we crossed. We got 145, should be a good pitch away. That's nice. Be the right number. No! I thought that was going to be so good. Yes, sir. Thanks. That's a route ruiner. All right, it's about time one of those caught up with us. Seven on that hole, triple, gets us to 11 over. And man, with all the penalties that we've had today, we are so close, I think, to being able to easily push towards the 70s here on this course. We played really well. It's just driver to stay a little wonky and then these little flippy wedges. I don't really know what's up with that. 16, dog leg left par four. We just have seven wood off the tee box. Looks like it wants to slope down and away from the fairway once you get up there. So no need to do anything too crazy here. Hit a nice good one, let's see. Straight. Yep. 
right towards the 150. Thanks, you. Turn. How does that one not fade? Hold on, Holly. Dark passer. No? Wow. Nice. Sit. Sit. Nicely done. That's all right. That's a dead straight putt. Be kind of Mine was coming out from the chip. All right, we're gonna focus up here in these last two and see if we can try to put together maybe a birdie par situation in some form. We got a 186 number here. A little helping went off the right. We got six iron. Let's go. Turn. No draw. A little draw. Not enough draw. A baby <laughs> Mario draw. Mario draw. A baby Mario draw. All right, we're on the green. Get a bin left. That wasn't even hard enough. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't right enough and it wasn't hard enough. Okay. Go. Hey, right Sally. idea, just didn't how, hit it. How you do it, Sally? I know. You missed <laughs> that or her sister Heidi. All right, tough one there. Just can't be three putting when we're on the green like that, but such is life. Really pretty final par five here. Um, it has kind of a split fairway situation where you've got a first landing space. The furthest you can go is about 300 yards. And there's another fairway kind of in between that and the green, water kind of covering the rest of it. It's really, really cool. Um, definitely leaves you a chance to get there on two if you hit a really good drive here. Wind is against, but I'm taking three wood still. I just want to have options. So that's what we got. Let's go. Again. Uh, that'd have been nice, but all well. All right, they're perfectly average golfers. It's an 85 on the nugget. Oof, tough one out there. Four penalties and we still were able to scramble together an 85. It feels pretty good. Up and down rate was really solid. I think we saved half of the sand shots that we had and our up and down game overall, just from chips to putts, was actually really solid. We only had like 1.7 total putts per hole, which is really, really solid. So if we would have taken those penalties out of play, we definitely could have gotten underneath 80 today, but it wasn't in the cards. Course knowledge, well, that's our biggest enemy at the moment. Plus that little fade kind of turned into a slice a couple times a driver. Still don't know where that came from, but had a lot of fun. So thank you guys out there who recommended coming out to the Divide. We are definitely going to be back and definitely gonna be trying to get this course underneath 80. If you have any other recommendations, let me know. If you're also in the area looking to play, you usually play during weekdays. This next month of May and early June is gonna be a little bit crazy with a lot of travel, which brings me to the next point. We've got some Toronto golf courses. We've got some LA golf courses. We have some San Diego golf courses, and we're gonna have some Vegas golf all coming up on the channel. So lots of travel coming up for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Again, if you're new, subscribe before we head off. Until next point, make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.